when you engage in a child's life and their development in communicating regarding their sexuality, you know, as I always call it, the man talk with my boys, uh, as you do that, you actually gain a position in their life for next steps communication too. So say their future love life, they're developing romance uh, unto marriage. You know, I, as a parent, have a deep desire to participate in my children's development in these areas. But one of the ways to do that is to actually engage in the foundation lane of their understanding of their sexuality in the first place. And so from a young age in our home, we shared our love story with our kids. They ask for it all the time, and we have some hilarious moments. A little Avi made a whole video about our love story uh, with her little, uh, she has some little calico critters, and so there's this whole love story. I think I was a raccoon uh, in her little drama. But in other words, our kids have engaged in this. They know the beauty of it, and, and we want to sponsor that, that wonderful outlook. But we also want to along the way, impart to them understanding and gain confidence. Sort of like this, counsel when a child is young begets counsel when they're older. The absence of communication when they're young begets absence of communication when you're older because there isn't a trust, there isn't a normalcy of going back and forth. And whenever we try, I, here, I would encourage a parent, even if you haven't talked with a child all the way through and they're 18, to still communicate. I wouldn't avoid it, but it makes it harder. And that person, that parent right now would know that too. However, just like when you sit down on a plane, there's a window of time where it's normal to say, hi, how you doing? You, you from Denver? And there's a window of time when, or there's a point when that closes. And now it's all awkward to go, so... <laughs> The same is true with your children. And so to have to take those zones of communication openness and utilize them appropriately, proactively, actually begets an openness of communication as they grow up and progress. And so I just highly encourage it at whatever stage you are to begin to bridge that with clear communication. If you've been non-communicative, start communicating. It's, it's oftentimes awkward at first. It's awkward for me to talk about these things with my kids. But to still do it and break through, just sort of boldly go where no parent goes anymore and just go through that difficult, challenging fog bank into that territory of, look, I love you and I want to speak to you. I want to build a communication or camaraderie. Let's do this thing. If you'd like to take these ideas deeper, join me for an eight-week course on honorable manhood. 